Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is another comment video. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get one out yesterday. Yesterday was my daughter's birthday, and then we were kind of hovering over my son. Like I said, he dislocated. I said his arm in the video. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. He dislocated his shoulder during his seizure. Um, some people, when they have seizures, shake. Um, and he stiffens up, turns his arms in and just like, I don't know. And that's how that happened. So, um, that's why I didn't get a video out yesterday because it's my daughter's birthday. And, um, back in March, that's when my son got, you know, when he started having the seizures. And then the day after, um, uh, my nephew was taken from us in the most awful way. So our family has just been going through it a little bit, you know, this year so we all just wanted to be together yesterday so that's why i didn't get a video out i really you know my daughter was not feeling it because all of our children you know my sisters you know they were all close in age but my daughter being like the only girl amongst like seven boys she felt it the most you know one of you know one of them was missing you know so it was just it was just sad, and he was my sister's first son. I don't mean to ramble. You can fast forward if you want, but he was my sister's, my oldest sister's first son, so that made him all of our first sons, in a sense, right? Because he was, you know, he we all took care of him, so it, it was a celebration, and then, you know, we reminisced on him, but we also celebrated my daughter, so, you know, it's just one of those weekends, but I'm very grateful and you know to be back here i'm at work in the parking lot talking to you guys like usual not too far from vacation so you know we're gonna get back on track we just had a a rough last couple of days but you know we should rise like the phoenixes that we are right and move on pull our bootstraps up till they break and if they break we better buy some more straps because we got to keep on moving got to keep on breathing that's what my daddy just said you know as long as you get up got to breathe got to move gotta work so here we are all right to Havlin. i'm glad to Havlin is the first hand she's starting us off this morning she's saying busy body bareness thank you for the spoilers you're welcome i enjoy doing the spoilers i'm gonna start doing that um every saturday i'm gonna try to get that out robin fletcher enjoyed the spoilers and nancy that that you guys are so welcome i like i said we're gonna start doing that at least once a week so we can just see what's going on and i seen in the 16 second preview you know we know that diane got hooked unfortunately poor diane let's just hope finn can save her because we know the hook is poison so let's just hope that you know finn can figure out what the poison is and get the antidote and they can get her you know straightened up and also um i'm glad her and sonny were able to make up oh he's so hard how is he gonna be mad at diane anyway you know you can't be mad at people that didn't support your stupid decisions you know this is your life your decisions but don't be mad at people that don't want to go along with what you decide to do you can't be mad at her for that um liana abdullah Hello, Liana. And I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly because that's my sister's name and we spell it. The only difference is we put an I in her. So if I'm, is it Leona or Liana? Just let me know in the comments. Um, but she says Elizabeth would would have been too young to have been done kill someone in the 70s. That's what I'm saying. How old is Elizabeth? How old was she supposed to be during that time? Yeah, I'm confused about that one. Medora Bohannon. Hello, Medora Bohannon. Thank you for commenting and welcome to the comment section. She says, damn, Lucy the Diamonds got you. They showed the girl and it was a beautiful bangle, wasn't it? Oh, it was beautiful. Lisa in the house. Lisa says, sucks that Diane gets hooked. Toxin specialist. I hope Dante gives us a clue to who is hooking people. Yeah, he's supposed to be roaming around this week. You know, you know, Dante's a pretty good detective. Um... Gives us a clue who's hooking people. Sweet of Drew to go see Carly. She can use some backup. Yeah, if Dex would tell Michael that Sonny has him protecting Christina, he wouldn't get upset with him. Curtis needs to ask Sonny to move Selena out of his club. Let me tell you what. Michael is such a bull right now. He would say, I don't know. My sister doesn't need you. I'll put my own people on it. So Sonny's doing the right thing just to avoid confrontation with little silly Michael. He is really acting up right now. And you would figure what's going on, you know, with a killer running amok that he would chill out you know he would be a little bit more compassionate try to you know rally around the family but yeah sandy moon says diane cannot die diane cannot die i know 
that's who Alexis and Gregory will find. Thanks, Bareness. Yeah, that's who I figured they'll find, too. I knew you would know, Sandy. I was just going to let you announce it, girl. So, Sandy, let us know. That's who Gregory and Alexis is going to find. And it's sad because that's our best friend. They just sat and talked together. I feel so bad for Alexis. Oh, and everybody that... Now, this might bring Carly... Well, no, Drew will make sure she really don't come back now when they find out Diane because now it's really probably somebody that's after Sunny, I think. It is so cold. I turned my heat on, guys, um, off topic. I just want to let you know how cold it's gotten here in Michigan so fast. And it's leaves all over my car. And it's fall. It's fall, y'all, for sure. Um, Eileen, hey, she says, I think they're doing the same thing to Austin that they do to being in one life to live. He is a mob doctor trying to get out. Thank you for the spoilers. Thank you, Eileen. I forgot about that. Good call. I agree. He's either like a mob doctor or that DOD doctor. That's a good one. Uh, Ramona Horty. Hello, Ramona. Thank you for commenting. Enjoy the video. Thank you so much. Um, Welcome and thank you. Uh, Robin Anthony. Hey, Robin. 900 and growing. You may have to help. Uh, may have to hire help. I actually thought about recruiting one of my nieces or nephews to help me with the comment section. I just have to figure out how they will help. Um, yeah, we are growing so fast and I, you know, I appreciate it because that means we're able to do more things and stuff. Oh, I'm going to announce the Hulu giveaway. I kind of forgot to do it. I'm going to announce it this weekend. I promise you guys. I, we, I haven't quit giving away the Hulu gift cards. I just got scattered brain a little bit. Sandy's back and says, it seems Dex is everywhere the attacker is, but it's too obvious for it to be Dex. I agree. The person that attacked Diane was very small. Could it be Esme or Liz? I think my Alexis and Gregory will find Diane. Yeah, probably so. Jeez, you think it was... Okay, let's remember that when Elizabeth left Finn's office, she had a headache, you know, because she was probably getting upset when she figured out who the lady was. Do you guys think that Elizabeth flashed out and went and hooked Diane? But why is she going after these specific people, though, you guys? Martha D. Geyer. Hello, Martha D. Thank you for commenting and welcome to the comment section. She says, unless I need glasses, the hooker seem to be a small build as in female. My guess is either Esme or Elizabeth. Probably Esme at this point. I really don't think it's Elizabeth. If it's a female, it's Esme or Nell. And remember, they said that Dex is supposed to be questioned. He's going to, you know, be taken in for questioning. But I don't think it's Dex either. It's too obvious. The killer probably knocked Dex out. But why didn't the killer just hook Dex? See, it's a lot. But we got to go on to the new episode, you know, the next episodes and see. But if that's going to be the thing... Like, oh, that's how the hooker got to Diane because Dex got knocked out. Then why didn't the hooker just hook him and hook Diane? So that if if that's the thing, then that means Dex definitely has something to do with it. I'm sorry. Jenny J says, yes, what and where the hell is Max and Milo? I don't know. They don't mention them and we don't see them anymore. I miss those guys. Yeah, and it seems like they would be with Sonny more than ever right now. Sean St. John is back in the house and says, sorry about your son. Oh, thanks. Michael wants to take down Sonny. That's why I said it's Michael. I know, I know he wants to take down Sonny, but the people that he, he's hurting, he loves them too. He loves Brando and you know he wouldn't dare hurt Joss. Ava, probably he would hurt Ava. He definitely wouldn't hurt Diane. I don't, I don't know uh, St. John about that one. St. John again says Carly will be having a life-changing moment. She's going to help her mom stay in the cemetery. Oh, okay. <laughs> she says again, Dex told Michael, so Michael came to Di to do Diane and part of Sonny's tribe. Gosh, I hope it's not Michael. You're making some good points, St. John. I really hope it's not Michael. That would be awful. Robert, hey, Robert. Robert says, hi, busybody bearness. Dr. Finn is an infectious disease specialist. Okay, I couldn't think of what he was. Cause I think I said a poisonous. Or I couldn't think of it, but I knew he was a specialist, something important. He says, I like the original Nicholas, me too. He fell on very hard times, yeah, with alcoholism in real life and had a couple of near-death experiences. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Not sure if he would be able to make a comeback as Nicholas. Keep up the good work on your channel. Thank you so much. No, I didn't know um, that his, you know... 
that he was going through that. I knew he was going through alcoholism, but the last time we seen him was like the end of 2019, I think, beginning of 2020. He was doing well, and he really wanted to get back. He's looking, he's still looking fit. I mean, General Hospital would be the perfect place for him. That's his home, right? And you know, as fans, we would welcome him back with open arms. I don't know how it is, you know, with it being nothing against it. Listen, Disney gets all my money, but you know, they are brands, right? And we know how they are. They really, they like their actors to be, you know, not in trouble and stuff, but hopefully maybe if we like can, I don't know what we, they don't write letters anymore. What do they do? Send emails. I don't know. I would like, but then we would lose our other Nicholas. I don't know, but I really would like for the original Nicholas to come back. He deserves to come on back home especially if he feels like he's ready you know maybe you, well, i guess if we just put it on twitter or something i don't know i'll look into that you guys if we really want him to come back maybe we can do something to help rally around him to get him back because you know everybody deserves a second third chance if you're willing to keep on working and keep on trying to make yourself better then you deserve chances that's just what i think um, Vicky says, thanks for the spoilers. I don't understand why the writers have picked this time to have Carly away. I don't either. I, I really don't either. This is not a good time. There is so much going on in PC. Carly should be at home. This is exactly what the writers did with Sunny in 2020. Yep, 2021. PC was in total disarray with the brewing mob war and Sunny was in Nixon Falls <laughs> sitting bar and dancing with Nina. Now they have Carly in Jacksonville fighting a zoning proposal and spending time with Drew. All hell is breaking out. Well, actually... It's supposed to be for her safety because remember, Sonny told her not to come back for her safety. All hell is breaking on NPC and Carly agrees to stay away from possible danger, but leaves her daughters there. Now, that's the thing. I would be sending for my daughters, all three of them, like, because Avery's mom is in the hospital. Yeah, you're right about that. I would be at least sending for the girls. Um, they're with the nanny, their father and his girlfriend. Looks as if the writers are on their way to changing Carly's character like they did. Sonny, I hope his Jacks this Jacksonville storyline doesn't take a year like Nixon Falls. Me too. I, I, I really hope they don't drag this out. We already know her and Drew are going to end up together. Let's, if they're going to probably get together in Jacksonville. Yay, cute, finally. I'm starting not to care. You know, the barbecue was the last straw. When she turned him away, I'm like, okay, this is going to be another drag out like Chase and Brooklyn. It's not fair. Robin Fletcher says they could let Brando come back, play as Jason. <laughs> let Sonny and Carly be friends for now. Ready for some Spencer and Trina save Diane. Hmm. Okay. Now we know that this has been done several times on GH. What do you think about that? Put it in the comments. Now don't forget in real life though, I said Brando has a lot of irons in the fire. He's very much sought after right now but what do you think about that you guys bring brando back as jason i'd buy it i would get brando and jason all in one wouldn't care wouldn't complain sorry good one robin also let's see sunny and carly be friends for now yeah they have to be friends for now because of what's going on for the good of the children and spencer and trina yeah i'm ready to see spencer and trina well we're supposed to see well spencer today uncle victor's gonna see him in jail and hopefully like i said between finn portia tj you know the whole team will get in there maybe we'll see monica shoot hopefully reesky hey reesky she says hello baroness don't think it's esme first she is tall she is a little bit taller than Felicia and taller than Ryan. The hooker looks like they're short and stout, like Dex or Rory. Secondly, because Esme has not made herself known, and as bad as she is, if she's Felicia's daughter, which means... Wait, I think I skipped something. As bad as she is, if Felicia is, and I think we can all agree, it looks like she is Felicia's daughter, which means there is hope for her. If Ryan decides to drop hints on who the hooker is, he might tell Alexis and Esme... Is Felicia's daughter, and he is. Oh, which would get Felicia involved even more. Finn is an infectious disease specialist, and then it would be up to Alexis to tell Felicia. <laughs> okay, so Finn is an infectious disease specialist. Disease specialist, infectious. So, but he was able to identify the poison, so he probably will be the one to, like, the way he fixed Chase and, you know, um, who else wasn't well? Hayden, I think, wasn't well. Or, um, yeah. Somebody else was sick when Finn came to town. 
Oh, somebody in the comments made a good point. Hold on. I ho Here we go. Risky. Asking you shall receive. Thank you, universe. Risky says, Esme was in a private school and in Europe. The hooker had to have knowledge of different types of poison and their effects. And Finn seems to think that the poison on the hook could be related to some kind of reptile. Here's the thing. Finn keeps a reptile. He has like the only exotic animal that we know of in Port Charles. So could the hooker be getting the poison from, see what I'm saying? The, the reptile, where would you get something like that from if it's reptile related? Put it in the comments. Um, Risky again says, plus if Esme and Ryan, they had a talk. Esme told Ryan that his friend Felicia ratted her out to kevin and laura and ryan said he'll deal with felicia and everyone else he sure did who hurt them and if that's the case why have they not gone after felicia mac and maxi it would make more sense right now it seems they are just focused on Sonny and those close to him cody needs to be careful when approaching felicia he has no idea who he's messing with yeah when Felicia gets hold of something, it's like a bulldog with the bone. She will not let go until she finds what she's after. She sure won't. That's true. Catherine Piper says, so the hook is always shown as in the air. So would it hit vertically down? That's what I thought too. But the way it hit Ava, it hit her like to the side. Um, so how does that happen unless you know exactly what you're doing? I still don't know why Brando wasn't able to defend himself. He was a soldier, special ops, and he saw it coming. I'm with you on Dunkin' Donuts, Glaze. <laughs> Thank you. I don't thought, you know, a lot of people are funny about, you know, their choice of donut and things, and I didn't want to piss nobody off. I was just ranting because I just... It was just dragging that meat off for donuts, for God's sake. Captain Piper says, how did Valentina and Anna get on and off the boat without being seen when the captain was aware of man overboard? I don't know. I don't know. They're supposed to be such good spies, I suppose, Catherine. All right, let me get in here to work. Um, and I'm going to go in and sneak and try to get this out to you guys. And